In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Soul Metrics uh, Tilt and Orientation uh, Factor Lookup Tool. So, we're going to go to soulmetric.com. Soulmetric is the manufacturer who makes the SunEye um, and the Pathfinder, um, which is sort of the older version of the SunEye. They have a lot of other tools on their website. The one we're going to go over today is the Tilt and Orientation Lookup. So, you go to Support, click on a Annual Installation US. Do a little left click there. It's going to take you to this screen. Um, feel free to read this if you'd like to. It tells you where the data came from and all that sort of stuff. Um, you have two options here. You can actually click on this and go to Google Earth if you don't, if you just want to find a location and, or an address and click on it. Um, but we're going to go just to look up by uh, state and town. So we'll go to Proceed Installation Lookup Tool. So you can go anywhere you want. Um, let's say we're, we're looking at Newark, Delaware. So we click on Delaware. In this case, Newark is not an option, but we'll take the next best thing here. We have Wilmington, Newcastle, so we'll click on that. So this chart is very is specific to Wilmington, Newcastle, Delaware. Okay, so here's the location. Here is the it tells you the optimal tilt, which in this case is 34 degrees. The optimal azimuth is 181 degrees. It tells you the insulation. In this case, it's uh, about 1,700 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year. Station ID is a weather station, then we have latitude and longitude, which should look familiar to you. And this chart here uh, is, is a very useful chart. Um, it's kind of a bullseye type of pattern. Um, and so this, the center of the bullseye, if you will, is our 100%. So that tells you your, your tilt and orientation factor is 100%. Um, in other words, your, your optimal tilt and orientation, you get 1699 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year, and that's telling you at 100%. You're getting that full tilt and orientation. Um, so, in other words, you're not diminishing your your insulation or your um, you know your radiance or irradiation. Um, so that you can see what's what's kind of interesting. Um, it really helps you visualize the fact that you don't have to be at the perfect tilt or or orientation to get the uh, total 100% uh, of the output. You know, I, you know, it looks like maybe from oh, let's say I don't know 35 to 40 degree tilt, you're okay. You're still in the white. And anywhere from say you know 175 maybe to 185 um, azimuth, you you're still at 100% tilt and orientation factor. So, um, and you can see there's these concentric rings outside. This is your if you look over here your 99% area. So anything from you know 27 to maybe 45 degrees uh, tilt, and maybe 165 to 195 azimuth, and so on. You can work your way out and look at the corresponding chart, and it tells you at the 95% level that you're only getting 1614 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year. Okay, so let's say, you know, if I want to use the chart, I could and say, let's say I'm at a 30 degree tilt and I don't know, 165 degree um, azimuth. So I can actually, I could interpolate here, go from 30 over to 165 and I'm right about in that 99% zone. Uh, but it's kind of hard to tell. The more accurate way to do it is just to go down here. So you can enter in your tilt and azimuth and you can see right now it it starts as a default at the uh, optimal or near optimal tilt, and then you know the optimal azimuth. Um, so you see we do have some flexibility. You can be down to 32 degrees tilt and 179 degree azimuth, and you're still down here is your tilt and orientation factor of 100%. So if I I can enter in whatever I want here. So let's say I'm 30 degrees and 165, and I hit calculate or enter. And you can see my tilt and orientation factor change from 100 to 99.1 percent. So under these conditions, I'm only I'm losing less than one percent of my output based solely on my tilt and azimuth. Now, you know it's important that to remember that this does not include shading or any of the other derating factors that you may be using. It just tells you based on your tilt and your azimuth what your reduction in output is going to be as a percentage. Now let's say I have uh, you know I don't know a west facing roof. I'm at 270 degrees. So I can just change that, and you can see that's really dropping me down. I'm losing 18%. So you can do that with any tilt in azimuth. Uh, one uh, note of caution, and that is that you cannot put decimals in here. So if you have a 30.2 degree tilt, and you try to calculate it, it spits out a zero. So in this case, unfortunately, you just have to, you know, round down or up uh, depending on which is closest. And and you can see that my TF comes back. Okay, so you can use that for any location, um, or at least approximate location in the United States, and it'll tell you your tilt and orientation factor.